Hey, hi everyone. I'm Amy. I'm Amy Roloff in my little kitchen and I'm here with Lisa. Hey. So we're going to be on a Zoom call with some people from Michigan because, oh, do you want to show me that? Because we are going to make an appetizer dish, which is really, really easy. Yum. It's been a long time since I've made this, but this is your own very own cheese ball. Now, what holiday party has not had a cheese ball? I know, everyone. But you know what? To tell you the truth, I really enjoyed making this over I've um, not had a homemade, store bought. I've never had a homemade cheese really? ball. Really? Ever. And um, because the other cheese balls that I have, I mean, I'm all for sharp cheddar cheese. So if you want to use sharp cheddar cheese, go ahead. But I like the medium. Oh. You know, it, it, it's, it doesn't have that intense of a flavor. But I, you probably noticed that I added goat cheese to I it. I did. I saw <laughs> it right here. <laughs> so anyway, we're getting ready to do a Zoom okay. call with some people from Michigan. And it's appetizer cheese ball time. Cheese ball. Can you guys hear me? Yes? Okay, okay. Um, well, I'm gonna go to Yvonne, T take your mute off. Yeah. Yvonne? I can't hear you. How about now? Oh, yeah. Excellent. And <laughs> hey, uh, we, well, we were gonna have four people on, we may only have two. So it's gonna be you, do we have three? Oh yeah, your friend. We have Yvonne. And um, Alyssa, which one's Alyssa? Alyssa. Alyssa and Carly's your daughter. Yes. Yes. All okay, right. good. We well, it. thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be a really simple appetizer, and I would love, you know, to get your guys' uh, input and ideas, and maybe what's a favorite appetizer that you guys like to do for the holidays or any gathering you, you like to go to. So Yvonne, I'm going to start with you. First of all, where are you from? I'm in Harrison Township, Michigan, about 30 minutes north of Detroit. Okay. Uh, have you heard of Lake St. Clair? Oh, yes. Yes. I'm yes. like right over here, right by Lake okay. St. Clair. Okay, great. Yeah, no, exactly where that is. I have some really good friends. My sister lives in Clarkston. And okay. uh, I've got another very good friend. Uh, um, she's from Macomb Township, but oh, that's Macomb Township. Or Pontiac yeah. area. Okay. But yeah. So hey, welcome. Do Thank you, watch, you. I'm assuming you watch little people. Why? Why am I yelling? <laughs> <laughs> yes, all the all the time. I just watch the wedding, and I'm a I'm a big fan, and my daughter watches too. She's the one that actually, I told her to um, put in the request, and she got nominated. And um, but she couldn't be there. She's a um, environmental engineer, and she has to work a little late today. So wow, just making sure wow. our bridge, our bridges and our um, soil are great in Michigan. So yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, she does the rivers, um, bridges, bridges and soil. Bridges and soil. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, those are two very key things in the state of Michigan. I'm yes. sure. Yes. She said to um, say hello. Yeah. No. Thank you. Uh, what I meant to say, not exactly Little People, Big World, but I'm assuming you do, uh, you watch My Little Kitchen, Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. Yes, yes. Videos. Okay, great. And I would love to get your guys' input as to, you know, maybe how I could do better. Because this is, if you could see this counter, it's like <laughs> stuff all over this the place. Kitchen. You know? <laughs> mine's, a, mine's the same way. <laughs> okay, good. That, that'd be another question. So you're going to make it along with us? I am, yes. Got okay, everything good. prepped, which I usually don't do, but I thought I need to be organized so I look like I know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> I will tell you, making these videos, um, it is a long time because I kind of set it up like a cooking show, you know, mm -hmm. like, because who wants to see a whole video, you know, just chopping everything, cleaning things up, you know, mm -hmm. but anyway. Well, thank you so much yeah. for uh, joining me with the hecticness of the holidays. I can hardly believe it's December. But I'm going to go uh, here to Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa and Carly. How are you guys? We're doing great. How are you? We're very yeah. excited. Now, where are you from in Michigan? We live right down by Toledo in Temperance in a tiny little town called Temperance, about as far down in Michigan as you can go. We're wow, the first exit wow. off the 23. 
Okay, have you gone to Cedar Point a lot? Yes, I love Cedar Point. Yeah. I'm too old. I get sick now. I don't like Cedar Point and I don't like to stand in line, but she loves Cedar Point. Isn't that amazing how things change when you get older? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she sure. lives in a park, uh, park in uh, Toledo, so they oh. live so close to it. I think for me, it took me probably at least an hour. You guys, what, 20 minutes, 15? I don't know. Um, it's in Sandusky, Ohio, so it's about an hour or so from us. Oh, maybe it's two hours for me then. Wow. Cedar Point. Amy, Cedar where, are you, in where are you? Yeah, it's in Sandusky, Ohio. Oh, wow. Hmm. I didn't realize it was that far. Yeah. Um, what town are you from? Westland, Livonia. Oh, okay. So, yeah, Westland, Livonia. I, I grew up there, went to Central Michigan University, graduated from there. Now my parents, or my dad now, uh, lives in my grandfather's cottage. They built a whole new house on a quarter acre lot. Uh, just about 15 minutes north of Chelsea, but it's off a North Territorial Road called mm -hmm. North Lake. So, yeah, so um, that's, you know, where I hang out now. But, um, but yeah, so anyway, we're going to make a simple appetizer. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm assuming you watch Amy Roll Off's Little Kitchen, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, good. And then um, uh, Little People Big World, too? Yes. Okay. Been a fan for years, years and yeah, years. Crazy, crazy show. Well, I appreciate you guys watching that because this will be, we've been doing this since 2004. And um, I think we'll be doing season, years? no, 2004, 16, 16, 16, almost 17 years. Yeah. Yeah. Some, oh my God. I yeah, know, you're right. I know. <laughs> the kids were just little and now they're married, having kids. It's crazy. Well, with the news of that, you know, if you guys follow any of my kids, Jeremy and Audrey just had their third, uh, November and uh, yeah, Bradley Knight Roloff and Jacob and Isabel just had their first on this past Saturday. So I'm a grandma oh. of six now. Yes. Oh, that's and awesome. We're going to be due in uh, May. And so that would be seven grandchildren. Who would have ever thought, little old me, <laughs> four kids and let alone seven grandchildren. Awesome. Amazing. Amazing. Well, let's get going here. I already see that you've got a mixer going. Oh, we want to Yvonne? see it. Yep. Oh, yes. Yeah. Are you guys taking the cheese ball or just oh, watching? No, we're just watching. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's that's all good. Okay. What did I do? Oh, Where's oh my gosh, name? you do. You, you know what? I didn't even get my hands blender out. <laughs> You're ahead of me, Yvonne. <laughs> so yeah, um, we are going to just kind of go along with this directions. I think there's a few changes. Oh yeah, this is soft enough. Well, let's talk about what are we making. Oh, you don't want to show that? Not yet. Oh gosh, not the. <laughs> okay, we are making a cheese ball. I know that sounds very very simple, and it can be very very easy. And I think it really depends on what you want to put into it. I really enjoyed making this because I'm already thinking you can make it an Italian style by adding in a lot more oregano, forget mm -hmm. the goat cheese, add in parm add, uh, Parmesan cheese in it. Um, you know, some of that, you know, definitely add some garlic mm -hmm. and, you know, things so like that. Adaptable, you know? Yeah, this cheese ball is so adaptable. Um, I don't know how they get kind of like soft uh cheddar cheese in um in um you know when you buy it from the store it's that uh very um sharp sharp oh my oh, goodness it's very sharp. much sharp cheddar yeah sharp hard, what did i say hard well sh sh oh sharp uh cheddar cheese but when you buy it in the store it's kind of soft like how, how did they get it like in this? Well, this is like a block. Like, yeah. how, how do they make this into a ball? You know, I would find that very hard. Oh, yeah. We're going local, people. Tillamook. We're oh. going local. We can get that here sometimes, too. To Tillamook, um, in the grocery stores out there, I'm not sure. But if you do, give it a try. I'm, I'm, I'm a big great. supporter of our local. Um, well, it's a national. It goes national. But anyway, I use cream cheese in here. If you do find another soft cheese, I haven't, I, I don't think there really is one that you can really make palatable, but I use cream cheese in it. And I put in a little bit of goat cheese. You do not have to do that, but I really like the hint of the tang in it. Mm -hmm. um, 
And then I added the shredded medium cheddar cheese. All right. Uh, sharp is a little too strong, but you can go ahead and use sharp too. It, it, it doesn't matter. But anyway, uh, most good. of the uh, cheese balls use pecans, but I chose walnuts. Uh, cause I thought pecans add a hint of sweetness to it. And I didn't really want that. And, but anyway, we'll read the direction. So Yvonne going. is doing it. She is using a hand mixer. I forgot to get mine out, but my cream cheese is soft enough. So I'm just going to kind of mix it in here with, um, uh, a fork, a big fork. And that'll be enough. And then what else do we have here? Oh, roasted yeah. Roasted red pepper. I really like the roasted red peppers. I just went ahead and got a jar, you know, any jar, any roasted red pepper. Again, if you just want to use raw red pepper, you could, but it will have a little bit of crunch. So debate whether you want that little bite in your, um, in your cheese ball. But I just went ahead and, you know, soaked it up with a, uh, a paper towel, you know, not to have it all juicy. And so we're just going to chop those up. Could you yeah. use a different pepper? You could use green pepper, yellow pepper. Okay. Um, I, I, didn't, use, I didn't have what? any red pepper, so I'm using green. Oh, yeah, green's fine. Oh, yeah, okay. perfect. And to tell you, too, that if you're making it for the Christmas holiday, to add in a little oh. bit of green or add in a little bit more parsley, because parsley is a little more leafier chopped up parsley with the red pepper within the cheese ball. I mean, I think that'll be kind of, you know, cool too. So yeah. Okay. But like I said, if you're using a raw, you know, like a fresh uh, green pepper, here's a red one, but if you're using a green one, you know, I would chop it up fine. Cause you know, I, I don't know, unless you want a big chunk, Crunchy. you know, in the, mm -hmm. in the cheese ball when you, when you scoop it or whatever. Okay. So I'm just chopping up these uh, red peppers here. And I said a half a cup. I'm going to say anywhere from a third to a half a cup. So we're just going to chop that up a little bit. Yeah, I think that's about, with this, I, I try to get exact measurements, but you know what, if you guys go over a little bit or something like that, it's all going to be good. This, you know, this is not, I mean, I shouldn't say it's not exact, but I mean, it's not a recipe where it's not going to turn out if you use yeah. a half a cup of red peppers or you use a third cup. Oh. Okay, what's next? Cheese, right? Yeah. Okay, I got some cheese that I already chopped up, but that's going to go in my crumb mixture. A little bit of goat cheese. Oh, yeah. Here, do you want to do that? Mm -hmm. Just squeeze out. No, just squeeze out some. But we're going to do a tablespoon because I didn't want the whole cheese ball to be goat cheese. We just squeeze it out. You could leave it in. You can yeah. put it in or leave it out if you don't want the cream. I just thought with the cream cheese, and yes, you are putting the cheddar in there. Um, I don't know. I just wanted another cheese flavor in there. Okay. We don't want my cheese to get all red here, so just gonna kind of lightly wipe this up. Okay. You guys got a food processor? Go ahead and do that. My food processor broke, so mm. guess what? I'm buying myself for Christmas <laughs> a new food processor. Hey, do you guys have any questions why we're doing all this? I don't think so. Nothing, huh? No questions. Oh, we have a new, oh, do we have a new person? Oh yeah, hey, hi. Are you Jamie? 
Jamie and I can't hear you. Laura. You need to unmute. Okay, we're unmuted. Good. Okay. Uh, Jamie and Laura. Yeah. Jamie and Laura. Yep. All right. Well, you're right. here uh Yvonne, Alyssa, and Carly, right? Yep, you got it. All right. Hi guys. Hi. 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 So um, where are you guys from in Michigan? Um, Flushing, Flint area. I was born in Flint. I was okay. born in Flint as well. Yeah. Right. Where where are you from? Uh I was born and raised in Westland Livonia area. Okay. West Side, oh. and all that stuff. All right. I graduated nice. from Central Michigan University. Oh, okay. Ooh. All right. So I've been away from Michigan for uh, 34 years now. Oh, man. I still miss my home state. I bet you do. Oh, yeah. There's no place like home. Oh, yeah. See, now, wouldn't that be cool that we all meet up? Because I'm coming home in January. Oh, yes. Awesome. Oh, yeah. I would love to do that. It would be so be cool. cool. We're yeah, all we on the side of the state, too. We'll, we'll, we'll pick a central location and... Wow. Yeah, yeah, we're we'll going to get lunch or something like that. Yeah, that would yeah. be awesome. Yeah, I think so that's awesome. a good idea. Yeah. I might have to tell the baby you guys and let you know. Oh. 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 Her name's Callie. Hi, oh. Callie. Hi, oh. Callie. Say hi. hi. So is hi. this your first grandchild? <laughs> huh? Is this your first grandchild? No, this is my fourth one. All right. Yeah. The youngest one is 10. So this was a long <clears throat> time between these two. She's a year and a half. Okay. Well, you are definitely ahead of me there. You don't look old enough to have a 10 year old. Oh, goodness. Well, the, the oldest one is 16, or he's don't almost 16. Too much. <laughs> you guys almost you got look. married young. Oh, well, <laughs> sort of. <Yeah. laughs> What do so you do? We, um, we went ahead and got started because I want to uh, be cautious of your guys' time. Okay, we need to start so, doing ours okay, too. My bad, right. my bad. I know. <laughs> okay. We got to get on the move. I know. We already started as late as it was. Hey, Carly, um, what grade are you in? Or college or what? What? Oh, me? Yeah. yeah oh, Car or, oh, I'm, in I'm in 11th grade. 11th grade. Okay. 11th grade? Yeah. Do you have any idea what you want to do? Um, I don't know. She's talking about her. I think I want to go into yeah. the medical Let's field. I um, I'm kind of interested in being oh, a neonatal so nurse, maybe, or um, a radiologist. I really wanted to be an orthopedic yeah. surgeon for a really long time, but um, that's like a lot of school. <laughs> it's like twelve years. And um, I kind of get grossed out by bones, so maybe that's not the best <laughs> idea for me. But um, you know what? When you become a nurse, you're going to be encountering a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> when you encounter it, um, I mean, like needles and stuff don't bother me. I just had to get an IV on um, Friday. I was in the ER, and um, I, I just watched it. Like, it doesn't bother me at all, yeah. but yeah. broken bones yeah. bother me. So maybe that's not the right way to go. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll, I, I don't know if I should give this one example to y'all because you may freak out. <laughs> I remember getting the blood taken or, you know, they had to do a vial of blood. I, I don't know what I was, something. And this was years and years ago. I don't know if I had a new person or not, or a newbie, like a new nurse, but you know, they wrap it around and uh -huh. I have pretty good veins. I mean, once they wrap the little thing around, you know, the vein pop, you know, it gets bigger or whatever it does. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it must've freaked her out because when she poked me with the needle, because she didn't anticipate all this, <laughs> we're talking <laughs> oh. blood went all over the place. She oh. took it back out and I'm like, you know, I didn't freak um, out. I'm like, okay, like, what are we doing? Oh. <laughs> and so, you know, they had to do that, and then they yeah. had to do it again, and just all the stuff. And I'm like, painful. oh man. Yeah, so, I had a I had a new nurse when I was getting my IV too. It kind of scared me, 
but it was okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, I wish you all the best in that, you know. Yeah, thank you. It's it's a tough field. We definitely need nurses and stuff, and we definitely need good nurses, mm -hmm. and we need nurses that help the doctor to have a bedside manner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we got the cream cheese all done. I chopped up my red pepper. Did you chop up your green stuff, Yvonne? Yes. Okay. I got the cheese. Because sometimes when you shred the cheese, it's these big, long strands. And I, I don't know, I just wanted it a little more chopped up and not have those long strands in your cheese ball. But if you don't want to do that, that's fine too. I just wanted a, a smaller pieces of the cheese in there. What else do we have here? Oh, goat cheese, oh, goat cheese is in yep. here already, right? Yeah. So oh, yeah, a little bit of sour cream. That just helps make it a little more soft, palatable, and it also gives that little kind of all over here. Ooh, chili milk. Oh yeah, see? I'm a fan <laughs> of my local people. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get a spoon. Okay, this is about a quarter of a cup. Okay. So we're just gonna mix that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of the salt. You don't want too much salt. I mean, taste it, because you know your cheeses will already have salt. And if you don't want to use black pepper, use white pepper. What are you doing? I'm looking for the green onions. Right over there. Okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and add the green onions. I added green onions and chives. And I don't have an example, but I had really small green onions. So I definitely used three of them. Okay. So again, it's, you know, if you're not a fan of green onions, or I would think in here even, um, but it should be chopped up fine. Um, a red onion or a shallot would work too. Could you use onion powder? If oh, yeah. Can. If you don't want the other onion, because we're still going to use onion powder, oh, okay. you just may want to add a little bit mm -hmm. more in. Because sometimes the onion powder, you got to be careful because you don't want the whole thing to taste like right. onion, onion, you know. So, yeah, that looks good. Okay. We're going to go ahead and dump the cheddar in there. Yep. You know what? Here. Well, it doesn't matter what order. We'll just do this. Then the garlic can end. Oh, you know what? This may not be enough. You added the you added the green onion and the chives. Yeah, green onions and the chives go in the cheese ball. Okay. But then, if you want, I want to find a different way on how to dress the top of the cheese ball. You know, to kind of not look like there was just this thing. Mm -hmm. So garlic powder, onion powder. Well, I think I gotta add a little more mix. I know, but you're taking one home. I am. Well, what am I gonna do with two? Okay, of them? okay. I'm not. Okay. I have never had a homemade cheese ball. Just so you guys know, in the ever. I, I yeah, I grew up in Portland here, and I, you just go to the store and get one. So. No, <laughs> I've never had one either. No. I didn't get it from the store, no. So I'm excited oh. to make this today. I don't know. Maybe it's my family. We've we've grown up on cheese balls. My mom always made cheese balls. She my always grandma. brings them to every dinner we have. It's yeah. always a cheese ball. There's always a cheese ball. She'll buy them or make them and then freeze them. So when so it's the holiday, this is a big deal to you then. <laughs> no, we we've always done cheese balls. And once you make your homemade one, you'll never want a store bought one again. See, that's that's what I was thinking when I made this as well. Let me ask you this: What are some ingredients that I'm sure are probably different here that you would have put in or remember? You know, your mom putting in the cheese ball. My mom makes one that has the chip beef in it and green onion and some onion powder. <clears throat> and then she cuts the dried beef really fine with green onion and some garlic and onion powder and rolls it into a ball and you can roll it in walnuts. Um, that's one of my favorites. But we've always had tons of cheese balls. I don't know, maybe it's just our family. No, I because I remember when I was in Michigan, uh, uh, some of the gatherings that I've had, People either bought it or it was homemade. 
you know, done homemade. Now you said um, chickpeas or water chestnuts? Oh no, it's um, green onion. And then you use the dried beef. There's a dried beef you can buy in the meat beef. section oh, yeah. in the dried packet. Okay. And you cut that up real fine. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good way too. Or even bacon. Yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. You can mm. add anything oh. to a cheese ball. You do bacon. If you want to do Italian, you can even do chopped up pepperoni. Oh, oh that'd be good. Yeah, with uh, Ooh. with uh, or salami. With parm yeah, salami, parmesan cheese in it with a little bit more oregano. Ooh. Oh, we're on a roll, people. <laughs> okay, I think garlic powder, onion powder, powder, and everything else. Okay, we're gonna add some of the seasonings here. And Spoon of garlic powder. Now, I might up that. The thing that's nice about cheese balls is you can make it ahead of time and always, you know, roll it and stick it in the freezer and then just pull it out the night before. Yeah. So it's already made well, and don't have to worry about it. You could make the cheese ball freezer or stick it in the refrigerator just before. And if you still want the crunch of the nuts, um, do it just before you serve. I, we've done it too, where we've done like crushed walnuts or pecans and froze it that way too. And it's just, the, it tastes just the same. Sure. Out of the freezer. So it's good and you know, the one thing that um, I, I'm going to have to check my recipe. This is the thing that I would prefer. I didn't do it on this cheese ball, but I probably would have toasted the walnuts mm. a little bit more because I think it, mm. it, it gives a little more of that, I don't know. It takes, flavor. It, it takes away, yeah, more flavor. It takes away the rawness of the nut, but yeah, I think it has that just, I don't know, rustic. It, it just, yeah, more flavor to it. Mm -hmm. And I, I should have done that. So I, okay. I might make Me. a note on here. Okay. Oh, onion powder? Onion powder and oregano. So I went ahead and added two teaspoons of garlic powder. I should have looked at a teaspoon. I tell you, one of the things about cooking, especially in something like this, I just pour it in there. But when, you, <laughs> when I'm trying to create a recipe or modify a recipe or whatever, um, I have a hard time visualizing, okay, a tablespoon, like, what does that mean? Like, what does that look like? <laughs> when you're so out. when I was making up this and did it this morning, I don't know, a teaspoon of garlic powder just doesn't seem like enough. Yeah. So I added two teaspoons with garlic powder, but I'm only going to add yeah. one of the onions. What a quarter teaspoon oh, of the onion. <laughs> Well, we just put a whole teaspoon in, but again, it's more flavor. I, I, I would probably say a half a teaspoon on that then. Okay. Of, of hot Hungarian. I like the hot Hungarian paprika. Um, unless you wanted a smoky kind of cheese ball, I would go ahead and add smoked paprika. Or if you wanted a little bit, you know, hot or something like that, you know, uh, uh, cayenne pepper or even chipotle. Some you know, pepper flake, or, or I feel like it needs a little bit of hot to cut the cheese. What was that? I feel like, I feel like a little bit of hot would be good in there to cut the thickness of the cheese and everything. Yeah, that sounds good. No, I think so. And so that's why I chose hot mm -hmm. Hungarian because it I've never seen that in the store. <laughs> what was that? I've never seen that in the store. Oh yeah, you, sometimes you gotta look for it. Well, this happens to be McCormick, but. Okay, oh, organic. Man. Oh, right. yeah. it's McCormick, okay. Yeah. Well, it doesn't say organic. It says non-GMO. Yeah, non-GMO. Oh, okay. okay. Right. So it's just hot pep paprika. But anyway, okay. that's okay. only if you if you want to, but yeah. I, I agree, so I'll, you know. Half teaspoon of oregano. Mm -hmm. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. So we're just gonna pour some mm -hmm. stuff in there. So are, are we are we happening here? Parsley. Yeah. We already did that with uh where are you gonna put the parsley? Oh I yeah, add the parsley. I didn't have parsley. I thought I had some in my fridge. Oh. And the store didn't even have any. We I went out to the store this morning. No out. parsley. So I forgot to get something from my yard. Okay, well that's okay. So, so I'll put parsley in there. Okay, dash of salt and pepper. I already did that. Uh, one and a half teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Oh yeah. Well, let me see about this.
I wouldn't go too much over that. It'll taste like Worcestershire sauce. Okay, we already put the chives in. Mm -hmm. Here, we can get that out. We're just gonna combine all of this all together. Did we add everything in here? Um, yeah. How about some? Oh, we didn't add the red peppers. Yes. I am most excited about the red peppers in the cheese. Yeah. <laughs> um, depending on what red peppers you use, you can use raw if you wanted. I would chop them up really fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or if you do like saute them a little bit, I really wouldn't do oil or anything, just kind of dry saute them. Yeah. But I, I got it in a jar. Okay, that's yeah. the ones we got. That's too. what she did too. Yeah. And so what you want to do with good. that, and she already knows that. Do the great amount. Add it, add it dry. Okay. Oh. A half a cup. Right. Something's different about the uh, roasted red pe peppers in the jar. They're so good. Oh yeah. Do certain things. Okay, so do we have the um, walnuts? Good. I should have chopped this up a little bit more. Oh well, it'll still be good. <laughs> now, normally what we would do is stick this in the refrigerator a little bit so it hardens up and it's a little easier to form or form it into a ball as best you can. And then stick it in the fridge. Uh, we're just going to kind of wing it. Just kind of form it into a ball within the bowl. And I would either put some oil on just a little bit. Oil on your hand or better yet, use the spray, nonstick cooking spray stuff. There we go. Do we want to take a few questions before we go? Well, on? yeah, yes, yes. All right. I think Jamie and Laura, you had a couple of questions for Amy. I think you're on mute. All right. I had a couple of questions. Now I'm trying to think. One of them was. Um, I have them here. So, oh, you do. People, big world, get started. Yeah, that's yeah, how did it. how did you get started? Yeah, when the show's been on, you know, as long as ours, um, depending on how long people have watched it, or yeah. people just you know caught on in the last number of years to watch it. You know, when we first started the show, um, there weren't the slew of reality shows out there. I mean, yeah, no one ever heard the Housewives. Um, yeah. I don't even think the Kardashians were around. Yeah. I think they uh -huh. came like a year or two or whatever after us. And yeah. look at how they exploded. Yeah. So we have been in some of our local newspapers, our local morning show. I was in the New York Times of an article of a mom going to New York because uh, I helped support um, a local author here that, that was doing a book on mothers to letters to our daughters. Yeah. Anyway, and probably for something else I was out there. Anyway, so I think uh -huh. producers and those uh, individuals back then kind of, there wasn't the internet that we know of right now like it is. So yeah. I think they just watched a lot of shows or what was in the local paper, what was in national paper. You know, I think, you know, maybe People Magazine was around then. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. But anyway, yeah. uh, so a producer got a hold of us. We started, we did one pilot. It was going to be us and, you know, a number of, uh, a couple other families. Mm -hmm. uh, that was called America's Strangest Families. And I looked at my husband at the time <laughs> and said, are you crazy? Why would we want to be on a show and think of us as strange? Yeah. And, you know, a uh, major network uh, who he did it for chose not to pick it up. So then you have to wait a number of months because they still have the rights to it. Oh yeah. So it's another pilot and this producer pitched it. And then that's when TLC 
picked it up. Oh. And so after that, we started doing episodes in uh, 2006, and here we are. Yeah, wow. I, I didn't realize it was that long ago. Oh, yeah. That Still you long started. Long. That was way back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then I wonder if you ever get um, tired of being kind of a celebrity and going places and people interrupt you and... <laughs> You can't just live, have a private life now. You know what? I think over time that I, I've gotten used to that. And like I said, yeah. in the earlier years, you know, I, I, I've never pictured myself as a celebrity. So, you know, even <laughs> to this day when people go, oh, yeah, there goes to the celebrity or there goes to the TV star. And I say, yeah, yeah man, where? that's a title you guys <laughs> keep giving me. Um, yeah. Because I, I just have really looked at it as a, why, why am I yelling again? I, <laughs> I'm excited. You're excited. Well, it's probably because, I don't know, the, the computer yeah. is so far away or they can't hear me. But yeah. I always considered it an honor and a privilege and just something that we got to do. Oh, and yeah. Be on television, do the story, tell our story, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly, and all this yeah. other stuff. And just like a regular family, you know, we have our own internal things going on and, oh, yeah. and um, you know, and, but also I, I don't think the public has the right to know everything, right? And, um, but we definitely, you know, keep it real. I, I try and be real. I always reminded myself as I raised my kids to do the best job I could, but the best job was I'm a mom first yeah. and then I do the show. And I think yeah. that really helped me stay balanced and not get all lost in this whole thing. Oh, yeah. To your question as well. And so when people say, you know, I, I think we did, we did open the door a little bit. We, we gave people a look into the life of a family that's different. I'm different. Yeah. My ex-husband, Matt's different. We've got a son that has dwarfism. We got, we had average size kids. So it just opened up the door and I think it made it more real for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. But so when people say a celebrity in my own mind though, it's like, I've had people look at me a whole lot, all of my life, but yeah. because you, being different, whether it's cultural, whether it's race or something, and people don't understand or whatever it is, you're, you're often ignored or turned away from. But now yeah. that we've had this opportunity, people have a different uh, perspective mm -hmm. and yeah. you've helped them to be a little more comfortable. So they come up to you and they say things and, you know, oh, suddenly yeah. I'm the greatest thing on the planet, yeah. <laughs> but in my mind, I'm still just me. Yeah. I'm trying to be the best me. So I, I appreciate some of the opportunities that uh, being a celebrity has offered, you yeah. know, I have not taken full advantage of that. I'm perfectly fine with that. I mean, I get to do Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen, and we hope yeah. to expand upon that on the YouTube oh, yeah. and everything. So please share it. Let other people know. But, um, yeah. but yeah, I mean, look at this. I wouldn't be sitting and doing a Zoom call in front of all you guys. <laughs>